mind right now in regards yeah, to the uh, rivalry? I mean, it's an honor to play in this game. It's an honor to be a Buckeye in this game. And uh, this is one of the most traditional rich programs and traditional games. And it's just, uh, it's going to be a great challenge. And uh, I'm just glad to be here and be a part of it with my team. Hey, uh, fun one for you. Uh, you guys got to do me Michael Jordan on your team. They got Jordan's uniform this year. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, who do you think has the advantage in this uh, situation? Uh, Michael Jordan. <laughs> Cause just because he's my teammate, I would say he has the advantage too. Why? No, no, I'm just confident in him. <laughs> Hey, Gary, you talked about the tradition of this game. Michigan plays sort of a traditional pro-style offense. you enjoy going up against that kind of style? Uh, I mean, anything that comes my way, I enjoy it. I enjoy the challenge from everything. But, uh, I mean, they don't throw the ball as much because they run the ball a lot. But we'll be forced to stop the run and play pass and everything. So. Hey, Gary, on against Northwestern, you guys um, had some trouble covering the slot receiver. And the time since, it looks like on third down, you have been moved to the slot cornerback on third downs when you guys go nickel. Can you tell me a little bit about the um, reason why that change was made um, and how much of a challenge or, or what it was like for you to kind of take on that responsibility? Because it seems like you've corrected as a defense what was, what was the issue against Northwestern. Yeah, um, my coach, uh, Coach Combs, he said he wanted uh, all three starters uh, corner to be on the field at the same time. That was a way for me to get on the field at nickel. And uh, it, it was a great challenge to uh, learn that spot. But I'm getting used to it now. It's improving on what we do. How, how much different is that from what you were used to? I mean, how much did you have to learn, you think? Uh, and not a lot different. I mean, you still play man. Like, you play man on the outside, man on the inside. But it's different. You got a lot of field on the inside, so it's different from the corner. But it's not yeah, dramatically different. And the last thing is you might be matched up with Peppers yeah. at times this week, and that's going to be a big responsibility for for us to cover him. How convenient is it, I guess, or how good is it for Ohio State that they're going to have their top, most experienced corner in that package going up against one of their most explosive playmakers? And what have you seen on film from him? Uh, yeah, he's a real good player. They're all, all their skilled players are pretty good. Uh, it's just going to be a great challenge. It's one of his points. Here, what's he talking about Darbo? They're one of their talented wide receivers. What, what have you noticed about his game? Remember, as you remember him from last year too and stuff, what just kind of stand, jumps out at you about it? Uh, well, both the receivers are good. Uh, they go against press every day, so they're going to be good at what we do, or go, going against us. So it'll be a good challenge, and I'm sure we'll go out there and play. This. Are you a different guy on a, on a game week like this than maybe? Two or three weeks ago before Maryland or something, when you know what's on the line, number two, it's the rivalry, number three, they're going to try to come after you because of y'all's man coverage and stuff. I mean, does it does it get you going a little bit more? Yeah, uh, I mean, you obviously always prepare every game, but this is a big rivalry game, and us being ranked and them being ranked, it's going to be even more big, so you got to prepare even more. What's it like getting ready for two different quarterbacks? I know Wilton Spate didn't play last week. They're saying he might play this week. John O'Corn started last week. What's it like getting ready for two different quarterbacks? You just got to go over more situations. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's all about fundamentals. Are you, have you studied those guys much yet, or are you guys still pretty much looking at the running game? Uh, yeah, we haven't studied that much yet. They've 